Greetings from Manipal Hospital, Baner, Pune. I am Dr. Karan Chanchlani. I am a clinical and radiation oncologist. With us today is Dr. Lakhan Kashyap. He is our medical oncologist. And together we uh, are part of the Onco team uh, at this hospital. We will be talking about various myths around the treatment of cancer, around its diagnosis and what are the correct facts. Because it is very important to understand our enemy before we can actually treat it. So if we understand the knowledge behind it, as well as what is working, what is not, and a scientific evidence-based approach will be the one which will deliver the best of the results. So there is one more thing like chemotherapy is used only for advanced can cancers. So if we see uh, nowadays, uh, I mean, they, if we use it for the advanced tumor, I mean, it's mostly for the control of the disease, for improving the quality of life. But uh, it is also used in the early stage of the tumor also. Particularly if we see breast cancer or the lung cancer, in the early stages of the cancer, chemotherapy helps in preventing the relapse of the cancer at the same site and also at the distant site. So it helps in improving the overall survival or the life of the patient. And if we see certain kind of the tumors, for example, certain kind of blood cancer such as lymphoma, there even in the early stages, the treatment is chemotherapy. Yes. Only sometimes it is supplemented with the consolidation radiation also. So it's not like that chemotherapy is indicated mm -hmm. only for advanced stages. It is also used in the early stages right. of the cancer and it also provides a good benefit there. So these days, actually with multimodality approach, we have improvised the results and this approach actually involves using radiation and chemotherapy which were traditionally thought only for advanced cases but those are myths actually these days and frequently the doses are also very precise and they are adjusted as per our requirements and uh, the, the fear of uh, causing permanent damages is actually far far less than the chance of a cure or even if not cure then actually disease control. So uh, I'll, I'll come to one, uh, a few about myths about this radiation as well. Uh, uh, so radiation therapy causes extreme pain. How how true it is? Anna? So uh, before that, I would just just simply say that radiation is nothing but it is kind of an X-rays which is used for treating your tumor. So it's a simple X-ray as you go for any kind of X-ray investigation or CT scan that is painless, so is radiation therapy. There is no kind of pain, no pain during the radiation treatment. It is an effective, simple and safe treatment. Yeah, so uh, there are other side effects and that they, they depend upon what site we are treating uh, and also what dose we are treating at. And frequently, uh, since it is mentioned about pain, so uh, radiation is actually used for controlling pain in advanced cases. So a small low dose palliative, uh, a well focused Thing can actually mitigate the pain of the patient. It can uh, reduce the consumption of those toxic, uh, uh, what should I say, high high dose uh, strong analgesics that we sometimes need to prescribe uh, out of uh, compassion. So those those uh, analgesic requirements can actually reduce with radiation. Uh, delivery of radiation is actually it doesn't involve any pain or current or any such thing those are bits uh, so does radiotherapy make make you radioactive like uh, it, it is a broad question like can can these uh, patients go back home safely and go back into the community mix along with their children and all so how safe is uh, this thing? so radiation is a very safe treatment uh, it doesn't make anyone radioactive it doesn't make any substance also radioactive it's kind of a though and these are the high energy x-rays but they causes a damage in the dna of the cancer cells so they don't uh, make these cells or these kind of art uh, i mean they uh, uh, any substance in your body to become a radioactive that it starts emitting radiation once you go back home so once you go back home after a radiation treatment you can definitely socialize with other people definitely i am in, in the ambit of whatever has been advised with by your oncologist if your immunity is weak if you are at the risk of getting some infections and definitely it should be in that particular safe environment but it's not like that you will be emitting radiation after radi after radiotherapy it is entirely a myth 
so uh, the another thing was like radiotherapy is always associated with severe permanent side effects so how how can we explain that so as i told earlier regarding the chemotherapy that uh, chemotherapy causes certain kind of acute side effects similarly radiation also causes certain kind of side effects which happen during radiotherapy and these side effects sometimes it can be like a change in the skin skin color sometimes there could be a localized ulceration which can happen inside the mouth in the patients who are receiving the radiotherapy for head and neck there could be some kind of a nausea vomiting but these kind are temporary side effects which happen during radiation most of the time after the radiation it gradually starts improving and within few weeks patients are uh, able to recover from these side effects and they are able to move around and up and go and able to do everything they are able to do prior to radiotherapy so there could be some permanent side effects but these are rare and this could be easily mitigated by the advanced technique in radiotherapy yeah, so these days we have very fantastic Uh, techniques like uh, rapid arc or imrt and image guidance so we have various tools that we uh, first precisely identify our targets uh, based on uh, scientific evidence and guidelines like which all areas need to be treated and then we deliver the doses in a highly conformal fashion uh, sparing the doses delivered to the surrounding critical structures or normal tissues or normal organs and also use these fancy techniques to minimize the risk of these long term side effects also so uh, as i said uh, we always go with the uh, risk benefit ratio again the risk of the side effects is far far less compared to the benefits that we will be getting from the treatment and even for those long term side effects we have so many uh, 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 techniques and methods available to mitigate them in future also as and when they start appearing so i'll i'll come to one one important question and i think we'll take it uh, last so one thing was like uh, radiotherapy should not be planned for children so i mean it is also kind of a misconception and myth uh, it's all about what kind of tumor it is yeah. so if we see in children there are two kind of most common tumors so one thing is the brain tumor the second is the blood cancer or the hematological malignancy so uh, if we see the development or development or the progress in the treatment of these kind of tumor if we see the blood cancers now over the period of past 30 40 years the treatment has evolved a lot the radiation doses and the radiation techniques which were used earlier has been refined radiation doses has decreased so that all this has happened in in order to mitigate the long term side effects which is usually yes. of Simultaneously, I think systemic yes. therapy yes. advances. Yes. So advances yes. in yes. our chemotherapy protocols. Because of that, also so, the yeah. disease control has improved. So it's all about just mitigating those side effects while curing, improving the cure rate of that disease. So because of that, I mean now the the bar indicated in which level tumor the radiation is required. It can be safely given in children, yeah. though so, there is risk of some side effect. But that could be mitigated right now with the yes. techniques which we have. So a well chosen cases. So like I said, with advances of uh, systemic therapy and chemotherapies, many of the indications of those hematological malignancies these days we try to avoid uh, treating with radiation, and we prefer uh, if if they are getting the same results with chemotherapy, why not? but there are certain tumors like pediatric brain tumors or even medulloblastoma these are very common curable uh, tumors medulloblastomas they go on to live a completely normal life and yet they require uh, radiation as a cornerstone of the treatment not just inside the brain but even in the entire new axis that is the brain and the spinal cord so despite of that they go on to live a normal life uh, most of them so that is how uh, so as a well indicated treatment in a well uh, uh, thought of case with uh, the modern techniques can actually uh, deliver the best benefits while still mitigating the risks of those long term side effects so i think with this we'll stop it over here and It was a very nice interaction with you. I hope uh, this uh, discussion was fruitful for uh, you, for our uh, listeners. And uh, till the next time, thank you. Thank you.